All right, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. We're out here at the park. I'm currently in the parking lot. Uh, I got my bag with me right here, and I'm recording on my phone. Uh, the reason for that is because my phone can record at a pretty high frame rate, so I can use that to do some slow-mo video. And what I'm gonna do is go out there, throw a couple shots, and then I'm gonna go and look at those in slow-mo, compare it to some of the pros form, and just do a super deep dive on a form review for myself and sort of go over how I do that and how I've been working on my form for the past year or so. Well, I guess I'm gonna go throw a couple shots. All right, we're back at the apartment. I've got a video here of me throwing that I just did, synced up next to, I believe, a video from Overthrow Disc Golf's channel where they do a bunch of angles. I kind of cropped out the relevant angles for the parts that I'm looking at. So this is Simon throwing his max distance flat shot, and I'm gonna try and compare my form to his regarding that type of shot. So let's just get started here. Starting with the run up, first thing I noticed right away when watching this is if you look at Simon's feet, I, I'm pretty sure these are about the same angle. I'm coming pretty much straight forward right now, but Simon's kind of coming in like at an angle here. Like he's already opening up his hips because he knows he wants to throw far. Um, where I think I tend to come straight at where I'm trying to throw and not so much open my hips for the throw that I'm trying to do. Um, and then here, I'll kind of try to step out, but because I didn't come in with the right approach, I end up having uh, way uh, different of an uh, angle here. So my feet are pretty much, you know, from my toe here to my heel here. So from my left toe to my right heel, you know, there's maybe a foot, maybe half a foot, you know, a couple inches. Where on Simon over here, first of all, his toe is pointed way back because his hips are way more open. But also there's way more distance between these two. So biggest thing right here, as you can see from this freeze frame, is the reach back is good. The arm here is good. Um, and even like the legs and how I'm bracing is generally pretty good, I think. Uh, but I think the, the hips being closed is gonna stop a lot of that rotation, uh, which is why he's probably throwing like 500 plus. I think on this throw I hit maybe 400, maybe like 410, 420. Uh, coming through the power pocket, he keeps his uh, disc a little bit closer to his body, probably because he's opening his hips a lot more. My my hips are, are, are he's got his hips kind of facing back a bit more. I'm, I'm facing forward more, so I have to swing this around a little bit more um, to get that release point. And I'm throwing a pretty stable disc, so I didn't release it on as much hyzer as he, as he probably did. Um, but yeah, I definitely think coming in at that angle really focusing on where your hips are pointing, getting that full reach back, you know, same reach back, but then he gets that whole rotation. Or see, we're rotating at the same speed here, but at this point in the throw, my hips are facing this way, where his are facing totally sideways. So he's still kind of facing the disc. My hips are like outrunning the disc at this point. So my, my lower body is going a little faster than my upper body where his, because he started with his upper body further back, they're in the same way, lagging. And everything kind of stays in concert. He's still kind of facing to the left a little bit. I'm pretty much straight forward at this point. Um, and it's a minor detail, right? It, in, in video, frame by frame, it looks really obvious. Or, you know, it's easier to see. Um, but yeah, that right here, see? Bang. My shoulders, my hips, all starting to face forward. He's still facing the other way. Um, another thing I wanted to focus on was the footwork. I think I noticed my plant foot. This might not be super relevant because I do a bit of a hop here, but I think I'm kind of coming up in the air a little bit more, too much and I'm leaning back. You can kind of see here, Simon's leaning into the disc a little more um, and I'm leaning kind of back this way so kind of back towards my towards myself um, and that means my foot has a lot longer to, distance to travel it's a lot more a lot less efficient I'm stepping 
kind of like this, where Simon's just moving forward. Uh, so you can see, if you look at Simon here, uh, his foot just barely travels a little bit to get where he has to go, and then steps and goes. Uh, and this might actually be a big reason why I struggle with sort of slipperier positions when I'm trying to throw far, is that right there, that up and down, and then bam. It'd be a lot better to keep my foot a little lower, lean forward a little bit, and then ideally, like, you know, I'd already have my foot on the ground at this point, right? If you if we're gonna freeze frame right when Simon's foot plants, right there. Oh, actually it was a little late. Right there. He's kind of starting to plant right there, and I'm still in the air, right? He's touching the ground now. Full plant, I'm just starting to plant. So it's a very minor difference but I think it, it plays a pretty big role in the timing. Um, and that all just comes from that little bit of leaning back. Uh, otherwise, it's a pretty good throw, honestly. I, I remember this being a pretty good throw. I think from the front of here to those trees was like 380, and I threw it pretty much to the trees. So, I don't know, maybe 430, 420, 430. All right, let's look at the side angle. So far, so good. I like Simon, looking at Simon's form, even though we're not the same body type, uh, just because I sort of have the same, my left hand seems to do a similar thing, um, and I, I sort of do my whole run up very similarly. The only difference is I have a bit more of a hop, but that's just a preference thing that I think comes from a more sports centric background so everything looks good here um, only thing I noticed was in the start he's kind of leaned back a bit more I'm leaning forward but then once the hop starts everything's good like you know at this point everything's good so it doesn't really I don't think it really matters how you get there um, yeah, so, so you can see from here, he's already starting to, to reach back, right? He's already reaching back and getting that rotation where his shoulders are kind of pointing backwards more. Um, and I'm still pointing at the camera, where he's starting to point away from the camera. And you can see it right here. See, I'm just starting to get backwards. He's already kind of dipping that shoulder all the way in. Um, and you can see here, too, the difference in the foot uh, position, the front foot position. Mine's a lot higher off the ground. It's going to require me to kind of step, maybe lean back a little bit and, and throw off that timing just a bit. So here, kind of just stepping into the ground. It's, it doesn't look as bad in this angle. I think the timing's a little different. Uh, good reach back, good arm position. I think he's not quite in his reach back here. So yeah. And another thing I can probably do a little better is if you look at Simon, um, so bang, arm is totally like that, tight to the body, so you can really rotate uh, where I'm kind of bracing and bending it a little bit. Um, so I gotta straighten that arm out, and that's gonna just take a lot of reps because that's, that's just a muscle memory thing. Um, another thing that I think should be noted here is He's kind of like leaning over the disc, you can see in this freeze frame. So I'm trying, trying to show on camera. He's kind of like leaning over it, where I'm like leaning back a little bit, if that makes sense. And I, and I kind of talked about that in the, in the other angle. Um, and then that also ends up contributing to sort of this, he's kind of up and down, a lot of power going into it, or maybe I'm leaning it back a little bit more. Uh, so just a little bit closer together in the legs from front to back, but then further apart side to side, and then a, a more upright posture, uh, kind of allowing to extend through that power pocket a bit more um, and get more power. You can see right there, that upright there. See, I'm kind of exiting and getting way out here. So, I'm kind of exiting and getting way out here where he's like still in this pocket and exploding with all that energy. So my arm's already coming way off my body 
where I'm losing a lot of that power, where he's keeping it nice and tight and really getting all that weight to get in there so that he could uncoil. And then you see that happen, bang, like that. It's really fast. So it's coiled, coiled, reach back, coil up, still coiled, and then extend. Um, and then, right, the freeze frame here is pretty similar other than the stance. It's just that intermediate step to get that rotation. So if you look at me, coiled up, but then ugh, it's so hard to actually, okay. So bang, right there, that's pretty much it. That's like the whole use of the power pocket there is I'm already extended out and he's kind of like getting every little last drop out of that, out of that position there by having his hips in the right position by having the sort of right foot position uh, he's like squeezing out every little drop of that power pocket and then unleashing all of it where I think I'm maybe losing a bit of efficiency from that extended right I'm a lot shorter than him and my, my stance seems to be wider so that's probably giving away some power and then now I'm ex exiting that power pocket sooner, giving up on a little bit of potential power there where he's letting it uncoil a little more. So yeah, all in all, I would say main things though that I got from looking at this is my hips need to be sort of facing away from the target a bit more for a bit longer, gotta get into that power pocket and stay in it a bit longer as I come through by having my hips in the right position, by having my feet in the right position. Um, and that should be able to give me a little bit more power as I practice that and also uh, focus on that left arm, uh, keeping it tight to the body to get extra rotation. So, I mean, a, not a lot of it is, is what the disc is doing, what my right arm is doing, right? My right arm is doing a lot of stuff right, but because my hips aren't, working in concert with the rest of my body in the way that I want it to or in the way that it should um, it kind of forces me into a position where I'm giving up a little bit of power so that's why people say hips are really important legs are really important footwork's really important that's what they're talking about is that right there you know using your hips using your body position and your lower body to allow your upper body to uncoil at the right moment with the right amount of power and like the most efficiently um, and then using other parts of your upper body like that left arm to extend the amount of power that you're getting from that. I hope this was helpful. Uh, go out there, film yourself. Just look at your form, compare it to someone else. You don't even have to do this side by side. Just look at someone else's form, look at yours, see what is about it that you like and what you can change. Uh, I like doing this every once in a while and I like to film myself all the time. I think it's contributed to a lot of my form improvements and distance improvements. Um, I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned a little bit. I'll see you next time. Peace.